The end of the year is coming up quick, but it's not too late to relive memories. How to do just that. And the 11th annual PHS Oscar night is coming up this week. When and what exactly is it? In the meantime, good morning, Phoenix High School. You're looking rather lovely today. Is that a new shirt? I'm Daniel Kelly, and this is PHTV, the most popular broadcast created for your mandatory viewing. We have a few announcements to get through this morning, so let's get this ball rolling. First off, the PHS administration team is looking for a student willing to help film graduation this year. If you're interested in filming, please come talk to Mr. Rhodes, room N206. Breezy is still hiding that adorable rubber camel around the school every Wednesday, so be sure to be on the lookout. You could win a fabulous prize. This week's winner is Seth Miles. Congratulations, Seth. And to all My Future, My Choice members, thank you for a fantastic year. The seniors that participated this year did a wonderful job. And also, big thank you to all teachers and staff for your support. And if you are planning to go on the Oregon Health and Science University visit to the SOU nursing program, keep in mind that the trip has been rescheduled to two dates in the summer, June 17th and July 1st. Also, the TRIO program has openings for 9th, 10th, and 11th graders who are planning to attend a four-year school, two-year school, or any technical programs after graduation. If you're interested and would like to know more, uh, please see Ms. Lemmix in the College Corner. Now, seniors, once again, we'd like to remind you of all of these scholarship opportunities that are out there for you. First up is the Jackson County Farm Bureau Scholarship. This is for anyone planning to major in agriculture. That deadline is today, so careful of that one. Uh, the Phi Gamma Delta Scholarship is for any male attending Oregon State University. Deadline is May 31st. The Sigma Phi Epsilon Scholarship, also for males attending Oregon State University, that will be due June 10th. And the Alpha Sigma Phi Scholarship is, again, for any male attending OSU in the fall. Uh, deadline for that is September 14th. Finally, the Oregon Association of Broadcasters Broadcast Scholarship is for Oregon residents enrolled in a university. Applicants must acquire a cumulative GPA of at least 3.25 or above, and the deadline is May 29th. If you miss something or you need more information, all scholarship applications are in the milk crate in the college corner, so see Mr. Ernesto if you have any questions. Time is ticking and you don't want to miss out on a chance for some free cash to pay for school. In FFA news, the banquet is this evening. FFA members, please report to the Commons at 3.30 p.m. for practice. Banquet starts at 6 p.m. All PHS staff, FFA members, and their families are invited. And finally, yes, the year is coming to a close. Just a few more weeks and we're out. Now is a good time to look back at all of the wonderful memories we've made throughout the year. But how do we do this? How about buying a yearbook? I hope you've bought your yearbooks already, but if not, it's not too late. Hey, what are you doing? Looking at last year's yearbook. Oh, that reminds me. Have you gotten this year's yet? No, how much is one? Only $40. How'd you get one? You go to Mr. Rhodes' room, North 206A, and tell him that Team Danica brought you to get an order for him. Okay, thank you. Yearbooks, only $40. Go to Mr. Rhodes' room, N206A, to get an order form. Remember to say Team Danica brought you. Be sure to pick up your yearbooks soon. Um, on May 28th is uh, the Thespians Award Night, 7 p.m. Uh, it's open from... Uh, it's open at 7 p.m. and it's open to everyone from leading actors right down to the appreciative audience members, everyone in between as well. So bring your friends and join the celebration. Now, there are currently a few PHS students who have not had their student-led conference. So if you need support for your conference, please see your advisor, your counselor, or Ms. Merriman at the front desk and set that up quick. Registration for next year could be slowed down to make time for your conference, so let's get that taken care of before the school year ends. Uh, since last week, Mr. Akil has been documenting all of our tardies, skips, and unaccounted for absences. Keep that in mind because spirit points will be earned by being in and on time to class. May 28th, points will be added to your total score. And on May 29th, the winning class will be excused from their afternoon classes to attend the barbecue and big air production slip and slide party on the football field. Our seniors are currently leading the pack, but that could change. 
Now, here at PHTV, we air a lot of good stuff. And to be honest, we also air a lot of boring stuff. But if you find yourself looking up to at least catch a glimpse of one of our awesome segments, maybe you should come to Oscar Night to get you hyped up for Oscar Night. Here's one of those awesome segments to tell you a little bit more about it. What is Oscar Night? Oscar Night is the pinnacle of PHS Video Club experience, one night of pure and amateur cinematography. When I first heard about Oscar Night, my initial reaction was, Oh, that's kinda cool. Underwhelmed and unsure of what all the hype was about, but after I went to Oscar Night, my reaction was, Oh, that's really cool. Enthralled by all the awards and the glitz and glamour, I knew that one of these babies needed to be mine. I needed to devise a plan. I need to devise a plan! Somehow, someway, I had to get my hands on one of those shiny golden trophies. I had to make a video. It had to be good. It had to be great. It had to be the best. No. It has to be better than the best. Aided by my side monkey, Hernaldo, I ah. set up to become a creator of amazing video segments. Every week, I endured the constant pressure from my teacher. What he said was... Alright everybody, be productive, stay on task, and make magic. But it sounded like... Be productive, stay on task, and make magic. And so we did. Hernaldo and I made segments in hopes of winning one of those shiny golden statues. Our videos were good, they were great, they were the best. No. They're better than the best. What's Oscar night? Oscar night is better than the best. Oscar night, this Wednesday, May 20th at 6.30 p.m. at the Rose Street Theater. We'll be showing off the best of the best that night, uh, everything that the video program had to offer this year on Wednesday night. This includes content everywhere from PHTV and the video classes as well as some content from our new digital journalism and filmmaking courses. If one thing's for sure, it's that Oscar night is better than the best. Hope to see you there. Now, let's talk about food. This week's breakfast specials are as follows. Tuesday with waffles, Wednesday with the breakfast burrito, Thursday it's breakfast on a stick, and Friday there's no school. Lunch specials this week are as follows. Today it's patty melt with fries, Tuesday a chicken parmesan sandwich with Caesar salad, Wednesday is Salisbury steak with mashed potatoes and gravy with a roll, and Thursday it's sloppy joes with roasted sweet potatoes. Once again on Friday there is no school, so if you're here at lunchtime at school and you're still trying to find an entrance into the school, you, you might have a problem. Uh, attention, all students who want to earn community service hours, the Phoenix Talent Little League is looking for umpires. So, if you're interested, please save and call this number, 541-821-1228. Once again, if you want to earn community service hours by being a Talent Little League umpire, the number to call is 541-821-1228. And speaking of sports, in baseball action, our Pirates competed against Henley, uh, the Henley Hornets in Klamath Falls. Our Pirates had no answer for the Hornets' prolific offense. They fell to the Hornets 14-4. Over the weekend, our boys traveled back to Klamath to take on the Mazama Vikings in our final regular season games. And the Vikings swept the Pirates to put an end to their season. But the baseball program represented our school with pride all season long. So great job, Pirate Baseball. In softball, our girls also played against the Henley Hornets. Our team could not get anything going, scoring only one run. But as a result, the, the girls fell 7-1. to one. They also traveled to Mazama for their last games of the season and unfortunately suffered the same result as our baseball team, falling in both games to the Vikings. Our softball team has had a tremendous season, should hold their heads high. So great job, PHS Softball. In track news, our girls track team finished second in the very tough Skyline District meet. Our girls finished fourth, or no, our girls finished first 
in the 4x100 relay with Audrey Hazel, Sydney Amundsen, Danielle Yonser, and Lindsay Burns. Audrey Hazel finished first in the 200 meters. Emma Hickman finished first in the shot put and discus. Uh, Lindsay Burns finished first in the 300 meter hurdles. And our girls relay finished first in the 4x400. Lindsay Burns, Audrey Hazel, and Navina DeLuca, and Danielle Yonser. State qualifiers included Emma, Emma, Emma Amundsen, she's going to get me for that, uh, in the 1500 meters and the 3000 meters, as well as Navina DeLuca in the 3000 meters. And on the boys' side of our Pirates track team, they finished fourth in the Skyline dis District meet. Jacob Burgreen finished second in the 800 meters, and Randy Mena and Leif Amundsen finished second and third in the 1500 meters. Cole George also finished first in discus. And a great season to both our girls and boys track teams. Now, the girls golf team went well this season. We had girls that improved their per game stroke average by 39 strokes from the beginning of the season to the end. Kisa Wagner and um, Miss, oh gosh, Marcella Powers, thank you. Uh, Marcella Powers ended the season um, at regionals and represented Phoenix High School with class and honor. So where else can you play golf at the most prestigious golf courses and for free? Think about joining the girls golf next year. If you are interested, they will be playing and practicing this summer. So see Miss Engel for details. And if you're interested in joining cross country, there is a meeting today in Mr. Cornette's room. They'll start 10 minutes into lunch. So if you're interested, definitely check that out. Also, any boys interested in participating in summer basketball, Coach Rhodes will be having a meeting at break tomorrow in the library. That about wraps up our show for today, but there's one last thing to do. Do you know what it is? That's right. You got it. It's trivia time. Last week's question was, what was, the, uh, what was Phoenix's original name? And the winner is... Gasper, uh, Gabri uh, Gabriella Gill with the answer of Gasberg, and she is in Miss Ingerson's advisory. Congratulations. You can pick up your Subway gift card in Mr. Rhodes' room. This week's question is, what is Oscar night? Write your answer on a slip of paper and turn it into Mr. Rhodes' room door. I'm Daniel Kelly signing off, and as always, this has been your school, your people, and your news.